This is the Night Blades warehouse Manling Victor told his master from the back of his flaming horse, as a troop of minions encircled a stone house in broad daylight. Where they stashed the stuff they smuggled into the country. To think that I spared them the evil of taxes, and they repaid me by killing my food vein cure complained. Their wizards and priests finished examining the house from the outside, in case the occupants had set a trap. The dragon smelled the air, the warehouse reeking of spice, grave dirt, and fresh blood. It reminded Vain Cure of a farmer's slaughterhouse. Corp selling jewels, as the most experienced necromancer in the country, told the group everything about vampires. According to Lord Victor, they are alchemical vampires, created through blood elixirs rather than the Red Death Plague. Which means that besides keeping their vulnerability to sunlight, they lack most of the standard vampire's weaknesses, have higher stats, and possess special abilities such as turning into blood. Laveria could walk under the sun, as did the one we fought in the Winter Kingdoms Manling Victor said. We have to assume that they all can resist it. Who? Vainkure asked, not remembering the name the Nightblade's leader. Oh. It didn't matter. The Queen of Rats would give him no more trouble than any other of her kind. Do vampires burn? Vainkure asked the important question oh, yes corpseling jewels nodded. I believe they even have a fire vulnerability. They take triple damage from it. Then, Minion, why did you use so many words to describe a problem, when the solution is so obvious? I am not worried about your majesty's capacity for killing Manling Victor said. We have enough priests to repel them, and I don't think they are stupid enough to pick a fight with you around. Unfortunately, they are probably keeping Charlene as a hostage. Our werewolves could not find her, even with her scent corpseling jewels said. Which implies magic. No one eats my manling minions vain cure said. Except for me, when I need emergency rations. Your majesty's concern for my kind is heartwarming as ever manling victor said with his usual strange tone. Perhaps he could remove the roof with the grace he is known for. Intelligence check, successful, minion, there is something very strange about the way you worded your sentence. Manling Victor froze in place. What about it? You said a sentence, but somehow your tone implied that you believed the opposite vein cure explained. But it is not a lie, because you are not truly disguising your intent and you would never deceive me. It was as if I were meant to divine the true meaning from your voice alone. His minion silently looked at his master, his face hidden behind his new helmet but that cannot be since that would mean you find me clumsy, and you love me. You love me more than anything. His chief of staff spoke no answer in return, which made his master worry for him. Minion. Your majesty can understand sarcasm now Manling Victor finally spoke up, his tone having turned emotionless and distant. Your majesty can understand sarcasm. What is sarcasm, some kind of magic? Vain Cure's head perked up. Can I learn it? It's, it's a stress relief method Manlings use when they feel tense. Saying a statement while implying the opposite makes you happier. Vainkyor frowned. Minion, I am very worried about your mental health. You should work more. Thanks, it really helps. You did it again Vainkyor said. Friend Victor, you should not feel tense. I will protect you and recover your outdated breeding partner. His minion simply looked away. Vainkyor ripped the warehouse's roof with his hand like he did with farmer's bonds when doing groceries. However, this time, he didn't find any cattle worth eating inside, nor even a photo kill. In fact, he found nothing but empty crates. The vermin have left already. The cobbled rangers broke the door in response, cobbled swarming the warehouse your majesty, Lord Victor. Red Ranger quickly hurried out of the warehouse with a paper in his claws. I found this in a crate. Detect magic trap, comma corpseling jewels cast on the paper. It is safe. Vainkyor's Grand Vizier grabbed the scroll and read it. Great. This is just great. Minion, you should see a healer Vainkyor said. Or breed. Mammals feel happier after breeding, do they not? His minion sighed. Later, your majesty. They have Charlene and want to meet me at a location outside of the city's limits, at night, for an exchange. I can bring two bodyguards. Oh, good Vainkyor said. I and my army makes two. They heavily insisted against your majesty coming. If they see you within a mile of the location, they'll cancel the deal. You said exchange. Corpseling jewels noted. Who do they want? What Manling Victor replied. 
They want Mo's map. Strange. The necromancer joined his fingers. Why not the bottle? Do they know you sent it back to Barsino? I can only see one reason why they would want the map Manling Victor replied without elaborating it does not matter, I will not give the map to the servants of Furibon, who is evil and must be destroyed Vain Cure replied. Like the last name on the list. Your Majesty, Furibon is not behind every plot against you Manling Victor said nonsense and doubled down. In fact, he said he had learned the lesson and let bygones be bygones. And you believed him, Minion. Vain Cure growled the pain of losing his hoard once still sharp in his heart. Have you forgotten the atrocities the Gold Slayer committed while he roamed the world? Someone willing to cross that line will cross any other, from lie to deceit. Chief, this is obviously a trap. Red Ranger protested. They want to isolate His Majesty's most valuable minion and eat him. My empire shall not give in to the demands of like lovers and manling cattle thieves. Vain cure roared his minions letting out a war cry in response. Manling Victor sighed. I have a plan. And bleep. His shout of misery echoed through the sand dunes, under the moonless night sky Vic, what's the matter? As the highest level priest in the Murmurian army Victor had selected Allison as his first bodyguard, she had traded her usual clothes for war, a flowery cloak, and a black wood staff. Thankfully, since V and Amp, V had steadily pushed further the borders of arable lands into the desert for the past months, her ability to move around had increased as well. You've been cursing for hours. He understands sarcasm now. Victor snarled angrily from the back of his nightmare horse. He carried the rocket launcher in one hand, and the scythe with the other. Allison thought it made him look ridiculous, but he didn't care. I need a new stress relief method. You could always murder demons and then cook them Allison deadpanned. It worked wonders for Chocolatine. You mean she was even worse before? Sir Jules, his other bodyguard, cleared his throat. If you could please remain calm. Yeah, you don't need to shout, Tolag a third voice said. Victor frowned, narrowing his eyes towards the source of the words. Namely, the horse he was riding. You can talk. Ah, uh, yeah, I can the horse, apparently a mare according to the voice, replied. And from what I heard so far, I'm probably smarter than you. Not impressed Victor snorted. My previous mount could eat you. Vic, are you talking to your horse? Allison asked, apparently not hearing what the creature had to say. Victor assumed he only did so because his mount counted as a monster. Hey, you're not the one carrying a winged dragon slash mammal crybaby on your back. The horse glared at her rider. You can fly, you lazy reptile. Yeah, sucks to be you. The name's Noiser, you pile of horse shit the beast snorted. Since I like intelligent conversation, we are not going to talk very often. Just talk to yourself then. Victor let out a deep sigh, ignoring the gazes Allison and Jules sent him. I'm not crazy. Vic, I can't believe I'm saying this his dryad friend said. But you should get laid more. Skill check successful. Victor noticed shapes silently moving behind a dune nearby, their scent hidden by the wind. They are here the Grand Vizier warned. His allies immediately began to cast protective wards, while Victor used the new necromancy buffs he learned from Jules. Protection from undeath, breath of life, fear aura, dot. You gain plus 4 check bonus against, undeath, effects. Plus 100 temporary HP. Chances to inflict, terror, increased by 20%. Within seconds, a dozen of shadowy, cloaked figures had surrounded them, Victor's monster in sight identifying most of them as vampires. Two of them forced a bound and gagged Charlene to move forward, stopping at a respectable distance from the opposition. Charisma check partly successful. Lucy Laveria can only read your surface thoughts. Good enough. He hadn't told Allison anything and girls like Jules were immune to mind reading, so the Nightblades shouldn't skim anything about their two secret weapons. The fact they had chosen a location near the city implied they might intend to retreat there though. Victor noticed savory use among the assassins, waving her claws at him. Oh, hi Vic. Oh, hi Save. Victor greeted her back. What's up? I'm fine. I hope you're not mad about my sudden but inevitable betrayal. Hey, it's part of the job. I'm sorry, Vic. You are my friend, but they know where my family lives. We are all a big happy family a cowled figure said, Victor recognizing the voice as Lucy Laveria's. Even if some of them turned into black sheep. 
Sheep's Allison replied, making Victor roll his eyes. I understand now how you took over the Night Blades, the Grand Vizier told Laveria. All of the upper echelons have become your vampire spawn. A very sweet deal, you will agree, she replied, keeping her face hidden. Especially once that vulnerability to the sun is dealt with. Emperor Vaincure officially revoked your invitation on these lands, by the way, Victor said, but it didn't make her bulge, Dalton, we are predators. Does a fox need a rabbit's permission to hunt him? Really? Allison frowned. Then why the myth of vampires needing invitations? Usually, because they are polite jewels replied we bleed people to live, but we are not savages one of the undead assassins said. We are undead of culture. Yeah, it's you living who don't respect anything nowadays, another complained I'm surprised you showed up in person though Victor told Laveria. There must be a very good reason why you took the risk to face Vaincure. You have something that I want Lucy confirmed, offering them her hand. Give me Mo's map, and I will release your assistant. Afraid your name is on it. Victor taunted her, her cold silence confirming his thoughts, your distra, the fourth member of the party. That was your name while alive. I thought you said fighting dragons was stupid. It is, and I'm the one who convinced my team not to wake Bane Cure up, or touch his hoard the vampire confirmed, the irony of the situation not lost on Victor. It worked very well for me. Immortality, knowledge, power, that explained why she had savory use establish a chapter in Murmurin. She didn't care about the region but wanted to keep tabs on Vain Cure in case he chose to hunt her down. Now that he had tracked down her teammates, she had moved into action but you can't be a good criminal mastermind when anyone can locate you with that map Allison guessed and I doubt the Fomers were happy that you lied to them Victor added. He remembered their last discussion when the vampire explained she could walk under the sun thanks to fairy flowers. Harmlin probably supplied them to her, in exchange for favors. You have to know you are in a no-win situation. You may be powerful, but a bunch of thieves and hired guns will never defeat Vaincure. Fighting dragons is stupid Lucy replied. Which is why we won't. We were tasked with disrupting this fragile country, and we will. We will starve your citizens, frighten the merchants, assassinate your leaders. We will retreat into the shadows too fast for that clumsy dragon to catch us. No one will feel safe. Your terrible economy and existing tensions will do the rest, tearing this place apart. Ugh, she intended to attack them with basic economic principles. Not gonna happen. You're on the losing side Lucy said. You just don't know it yet. So I'm going to make you and your friends a one-time offer, ditch the dragon, get back into the fold, or die. Already did Victor replied. The answer is, nope. Nope Allison added, while Jules shook his head politely too bad, because I do not believe in second chances. The vampire shrugged. But we don't have to fight tonight. The map, against the girl. Sure. After Victor checked Charlene with, Monster Insight, First. Shadow Man Doppelganger Invagler, Fairy Forward Slash Humanoid, Strong Against Fairy, Mind Control, Poison, Illusions, Paralysis, Sleep, and Truth Detection. Weak Against Man's Layer, Cold Iron, and Silver. A Fairy Working as a Spy, Assassin, and Occasional Actor. A Master Infiltrator Capable of Shape Shifting, Mind Reading, and Truth Hiding, Very Pissed That Your, Monster Insight could detect his true nature in spite of all its natural immunities to SCRY magic and perks. You wounded its feelings. Also, it was a trap. Well tried that perk of yours is so annoying Lucy Laveria said, before instantly casting a spell. Accelerated nocturne, dot. She unleashed a wave of impenetrable darkness around herself before anyone could react. The terrain has been temporarily changed to dark underworld. Dot nocturnal creatures, fiends, and undeads on the field have their stats increased, and will be harder to turn. All non-nocturnal creatures will suffer from the, blind, ailment. Monotype, non-undead creatures will be animated as undead if killed on the field. His friends instantly cast spells to form a defensive perimeter, while Victor pointed his rocket launcher in the general direction where Lavery used to stand. Her spell had completely cast the area into thick darkness preventing him from seeing anything, yet he pulled the trigger anyway. His projectile going to hit something, the explosion swallowed by the dark summon Victor began. Field effect cancelled. The darkness dissipated before he could finish his sentence, revealing the minions alone in the desert, with only a small crater for company. True to their word, 
the Nightblades had vanished back into the shadows, rather than to fight. Well, Victor would keep his door locked at night.